Yo, what's good? It's Josh. Welcome to the channel. What's up, people? Today, I'm going to be showing you how to sound like Midwest. I cooked up a little vibe that I'm going to be using to show you some of the techniques, and here's a little preview of that now. Sorry for the pain, girl. I'm sorry I'm broken. Sorry for the way that I stole your emotion. Sorry for what your neighbor thought that you wouldn't notice. Sorry I'm not sorry for the ways that I'm hoping. Sorry for the pain, girl. Oh yeah. The first thing I'm gonna go over is the bass. That dirty, oh my god. For these Midwest type beats, I found that layering is gonna give you the best bet to get that really fat distorted sound. So I'm gonna break down each layer one by one. First layer we got right here is this fat little hype beast 808. Rolled off a little bit of the top end because all of these mid and high frequencies are gonna be taken up by the other bass layers. Second bass layer we got is this saw bass layer. I know the sound design stuff can be pretty intimidating, but stuff like this is actually super simple. Whatever synthesizer you're in, you just want a sawtooth wave, turn the octave down, bring up the voices in unison a little bit, a little bit of detune. For the effects, a little bit of distortion, some heavy saturation, little EQ, taking off some of the low and the highs, and voila. This next part is where it gets really fun. So what I did was just copy this saw bass and then just mess it up a little bit. Took out some more of the lows and then added this trash plugin. Added some of this dense distortion, mix all the way up, drive turned up, and then this Convolve Boxborough combo with the mix at around 39. Here's without it. This next layer adds a lot. This is a gem for all these kind of like rock, emo, trap, hyper pop type vibes is adding a fifth up. And so what do I mean by that? All you need to remember is up seven semitones. So you'd have your bass and then you want to turn up in your synthesizer or just in the MIDI seven semitones. And what that's going to give you is the fifth. When you have that one or the bass and the fifth together, you're going to get this really powerful rocky kind of sound. For the effects, just more asymmetric distortion, a little bit of multiband compression, saturation, and then those same trash settings from the previous space. And then on the second half, I have another layer coming in and it's just harmonizing with that layer. And then a lot of times with these kind of bass sounds, I'll layer either a section of white noise or a crash on top. As you can tell, it just really fills out the top end frequencies and makes it sound more full. Then we got a little moment right here with this Casper 808. Next thing I want to talk about are the vocals. Each vocal, we got a little tune going on. Set it to the key of the song. Medium, fast, speed. Mount all the way up. Sorry for the pain, girl. I'm sorry I'm broken. Sorry for the way that I stole your emotion. As far as the processing goes, we've got a little fab filter EQ, taking out some of the lows. A little bit of overdrive, kind of dirtying it up a little bit. Virtual mix rack, slate, digital plugins. Basically just compressing the living shit out of it. Sorry for the pain, girl. I'm sorry I'm... Adding a little air to the top. And we got some trash, dirtying it up a little little bit on this push pull saturation setting then we got a little bit of cymatics diablo doing some parallel effects here's what it sounds like over exaggerated sorry for the pain girl i'm sorry i'm broken sorry for the way that i stole your emotion i like to use those kind of effects and then just dial down the mix to taste a little bit of ott just tightening it up and then just some fresh air adding some presence to it sorry for the pain girl i'm sorry i'm broke next i got this rezo plugin just taking out some of the harsh frequencies if you don't have enough money for soothe i would definitely recommend getting this plugin because it does wonders on vocals and then to top it off a little bit of DSing with the fab filter pro ds just on the male wideband setting what's really important in these kind of songs though is the layering here's each layer broken down we got the lead and then we got two dubs panned all the way left and all the way right sorry for the pain girl i'm sorry i'm broken sorry for the way that i stole your something i like to personally do with layering is keep my dubs of the lead vocal panned all the way out and then have my low mid and high harmonies more in the middle so next we got the low harmonies sorry for the pain girl I'm sorry i'm broken Sorry for the way that I stole your emotion. Then we got some high harmonies. Sorry for the pain, girl. I'm sorry I'm broken. Sorry for the pain, girl. I'm sorry I'm broken. Then we got just a little false set of ushy type voice filling out the top end. For the way that I stole your emotion. So I thought your neighbor thought that you wouldn't notice. Sorry, I'm not sorry for the ways that I'm hopeless. A quick little tip with these layers are to take out the breaths of the background vocals. All you would do is go to the section with a breath and remove every breath except for the lead vocal. And then to make sure it's clean, add a fade. You just highlight the section you want and hit Option Command F on Ableton. This is going to clean up your mix so much because if you have a lot of breaths stacked on top of each other and then start adding compression, it's just going to really over exaggerate that breath and make it really unpleasant in the mix. Then we got this little stutter effect right here. The ways that I'm hopeless. The way you would do that is just chop up your vocal and you can kind of just duplicate it in whatever pattern that you think is cool. Next are the drums. And here's what those sound like.
A big part of this is sound selection. Two packs I would recommend on Splice are this Sophie pack and then this Umer pack. Both of these are stockpiled with dope hard hitting snares and kicks that you can use in your tracks. But for this one, just got the Amy's Grave kick. I wanted to beef it up a little bit, so I threw this Simon X Diablo plugin on it, and here's what that adds. makes it hit super hard. And then we got the snare, Sophie snare 40, and something to pay attention to are the pitch of your drum sounds. Sometimes you might have the right sound, but you just need to pitch it up or down to make it sit a little bit better and be in the key of the song. So for this song, I pitched it up one. Lastly, we just got this little Cody hi-hat doing that typical trap thing, you know what I'm saying? Next, I'm gonna talk about the instruments and the effects. The second half of the hook, we got this little pluck thing that comes in. Here's what that sounds like. It's a simple little patch you can make in Serum or any other synthesizer. You just have a sine wave, octave down, 14 voices a unison, detune at around 10 o'clock. The real trick here is using this LFO to make that plucky kind of sound, because here's what it sounds like without it. See, it's kind of flat. So what you want to do is take an LFO, make this kind of shape, set it to trigger, BPM, rate to half, and then you want to drag it onto the level. And see, then it makes it a pluck kind of sound. Then just add some distortion, a little delay, multiband compression, and a little reverb. A lot of saturation. Another little trick that I love in Ableton is this around the head preset. You can find that just by searching around the head and you just drag it onto your track. I found that the sweet spot for this is anywhere around 50 to 75% for the amount. And it kind of just makes it go back and forth from left to right and gives it a little more dimension and makes it more interesting. Then we got some transitional sounds just helping us get to the next section of the beat. And so that's just a little reverse sound. And then we got a mammoth tom. I love doing these kind of reverse stomp sounds. And so what I'll do, just drag in a big stomp sample and then reverse it by hitting R, adding a little fade like that. And it kind of serves as just like a whip into the next section. And lastly, we have the master. Something I've been experimenting with recently is this Cymatics Diablo plugin on the master. I'm gonna really over exaggerate it first just to show you what it's doing. Sorry for the pain, girl. I'm sorry I'm broken. Sorry for the way that I stole your emotion. It's kind of just clipping it and distorting it and pushing it really, really hard. I really like that in this kind of music. So what I'll do is just start it with the mix at 100 and then just kind of dial it back until it feels right. Sorry for the pain, girl. I'm sorry I'm broken. Sorry for the way that I stole your emotion. Sorry for what your neighbor thought that you wouldn't. And once again, here's what all that sounds like together. Sorry for the pain, girl. I'm sorry I'm broken. Sorry for the way that I stole your emotion. Sorry for what your neighbor thought that you wouldn't notice. Sorry, I'm not sorry for the ways that I'm hoping. Sorry for the pain, girl. I'm sorry I'm broken. Sorry for the way that I stole your emotion. All right, so that's it for today's tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it and learned something. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Your boy's really trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. I'm also going to be dropping a sample pack once I hit a thousand. Also, if you have any other videos that you'd like to see or ways that I can improve the content, make sure to let me know in the comments. Also, feel free to shoot me a DM on Instagram. I swear I don't bite. Regardless, y'all keep vibing and making dope music. I'll see you next time. Love you.